This is Kate. And no one knows better than her the power of a jar of buttons. As fashion seasons have gotten shorter and shorter, the amount of clothing that we're consuming globally has gone up and up. But as Kate sees it, we can avoid that one-way street of waste entirely if we start thinking about our clothing as something to be maintained rather than consumed. We sat down with Kate to find out what happened when she started bringing together people who could fix clothing with people who needed their clothing fixed and to discuss how a needle, some thread, and a jar of buttons can keep a lot of clothing out of the landfill. Repairing and mending are something that your grandparents, your parents would have taught you, but it's kind of skipped a generation. So a lot of people find it so easy these days to just throw something out instead of repairing it. But fashion is actually the second most polluting industry in the world. The second most polluting industry in the world. According to a United Nations study, when we look at fashion, we are looking at about 10% of all greenhouse gas emissions, 20% of all wastewater, and more energy than the airline and shipping industries combined. So how do you lessen that? For the past six years, Kate's answer has been Repairathon, a series of events that she holds that teams up with clothing swaps and community programs to help give beloved clothing a second life. Repairathon is a place where you have uh, volunteers who know how to mend clothing and anyone can bring in some items of clothing and we will do our best as volunteers to mend that clothing so that it can stay in the circular economy. So what exactly is the circular economy? In the typical life cycle of an item of clothing, an article is created and consumed and disposed of. In a circular economy, we take a crop, say cotton, we create a textile out of it, which is then turned into a garment. That garment is worn until it's worn out, at which point you repair it, so you or someone else can wear it again. And when it finally reaches the point where the article cannot be repaired, it is recycled into the same raw material that you need to create a new version of that garment. But this whole idea lives and dies by how people feel about repairing instead of disposing. And the idea of making mending cool um, is, has been around for ages and is getting more and more popular. Even upcycling clothing, you know, like we had a repair thon over the summer and this woman brought in this mustard colored wool sweater. And she bought it at the fringe one year, like it was like 15 years old, and it had a whole pile of little holes in it, and it was just her favorite thing, and it was starting to fall apart. And we managed to use different colors and, you know, mend all the holes. So we were kind of adding to the aesthetic of her sweater. And she was standing there and just loved it. You know, she's like, oh, I'm gonna get to wear my favorite sweater again. Like, how fantastic is that? And you've made it even better, you know? Like, now I've got more story to tell with my sweater. So, yeah, that was one of my favorites, I think. That sweater didn't end up in a landfill, which means less crops to grow, less chemicals used, less transportation time, and less energy wasted. And it all comes back to how you look at a garment with a hole in it. Is it something that's been used up or is it something you can fix? We wrapped up by asking why access to the Repair-a-thon program is so important. I like to do Repair-a-thons also at places where there's a social need. And um, one of those is the the Macaulay Drop-In Senior Center. A lot of them get given clothing and it doesn't fit right. So we do a lot of uh, a lot of hemming there and that's where I've given out the most needles with thread because a lot of those people really know how to sew. Um, and if you want to learn how to sew, yeah, really there's so many books out there, even just going on Pinterest and Instagram and, and all those places you can find 
fantastic ideas on how to mend clothing and keep it in the cycle.